You getting flashbacks from your cheerleading days? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even have cheerleaders. Our school didn't even ha- doesn't doesn't even have cheerleaders. If you can't get pumped up yourself, then you're not an athlete. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to you, me, and the movies. And it's time for a fun one. A wild one. Wild things. Sequel to Major League. Kind of. Spiritually. Yeah. Since it stars Denise Richards, who... Wasn't in Major League at all. But was married to... Charlie Sheen. Who was, was the, the wild thing. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's kind of related. Yeah. It's like Seven Degrees of Kevin Bacon. Kind of. But different. But Kevin, I don't think Kevin Bacon's in this. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, but you've never seen this. I have not. It's got Nev Campbell in it. You love from Scream. Oh, I do love Nev Campbell. And then uh, Matt, Matt Dillon. I don't know. Is that Matt Dillon? And, and Kevin Bacon. Does it really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I don't think he's in Major League, though. He's definitely not in Major League. But I'm sure he's connected to no, Major League. Well, we know. We know he's connected to Major League because through D- Denise Richards, who's married to Charlie Sheen, I'm yeah. sure they run a movie together at some point. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was just teasing you, and I said Kevin Bacon wasn't this, because he's the star of it, so. Is he really? Yeah. You weren't teasing, you didn't know. I did, too. I've seen this. He didn't know. You've never seen this. He didn't know. Well, are you ready to get wild? Totally. Let's do it. But first, like, comment, and subscribe, if you want to. If you don't want to. I don't, I guess. Why are you here? <laughs> Check out our Patreon link down below if you want early access to our videos, full-length commentary, access to polls, helps pick what you watch next. Links down below. Check it out. We also have social media, so if you're into that, you can follow us. Sometimes we post things, sometimes we don't. And if you're not into that, just ignore that. Yeah. Let's watch Wild Things. Here we go. And we're watching the unrated cut. Oh. So it's extra wild. Okay. I do recall the very iconic water, like Neff Campbell and Denise Richards in like, the water no, together. I mean, the DVD case, the posters. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pool, so. Yeah, but it's kind of creepy, too. That's why I've never watched it, honestly. I thought it was scary. Probably is, actually. Is it? What? Is this scary? Sure. If you're scared of tigers. I can't believe Kevin Bacon is in this. And you didn't remember. I was teasing you. No, you weren't. He's literally right there. You didn't remember he was in this. Gators scare me. Should get you one of those. I like those actually. I'll get a mouth harp and get one of those and just start a band. I feel like a given the situation, washboard would have been a more appropriate instrument to be using for this. I cannot hear a word you're saying because I'm rocking out to this music, so Okay, cool. My grandma used to play the washboard in a kitchen band. This is for them, not you. It's fine. <laughs> My great grandma used to play this big bass drum, and my grand would play the washboard with, with the, uh, gosh, what are those things that you put on your fingers to protect them when you're sewing? Thimbles, thimbles on her fingers. Oh yeah, it was pretty cool. They used to go around to all the old folks' homes. Are you still talking? <laughs> I'm telling the people a story. I went to the, all the old folks' homes and played for them. It was so fun. I got to join one time and played the spoons. You ever played the spoons? Yeah. Do you know what city we're in? Florida. Florida is not a city. <laughs> <laughs> it should look familiar. Uh, Miami. Yeah, there you go. Oh, is this like one of them private schools? The I'll just watch. It's fine. Lacrosse. It must be a private school. <laughs> Oh, wait, Nev Campbell and Denise Richards are in high school in this? They're high schoolers? Look at all those pleated dockers. Wow. Fuck off. You react the same way when I try to adjust you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not in high school.
Not a private school. <laughs> they don't do this. They don't teach. Sex crimes. Ooh, interesting. Our guests today come from the Blue Bay Police Department. Detectives Duquette and Perez are here to give us what we hope will be a fresh perspective on the subject and to address any questions that any of you might have. Here to make you think twice before date raping a girl <laughs> without knowing the consequences. Or boy, excuse me. With a question. This prick can kiss my ass. Is that her dad? <laughs> Estranged father. <laughs> What's with that? Isn't she the girl who walked out? Susie told her. I busted her last year for possession. Oh, not her dad. Oh, don't tell me you can't see through this guy's routine. He's a total hound. You mean pussy hound? <laughs> Actually, I thought he was kind of cute. I'd do him. <laughs> she was shaking as she was walking away from him. Lots of water really close. Which makes sense because they're in Florida. On it's, the water. It's Blue Bay. Oh, Blue Bay. But... I feel like that's kind of a liability for the school, is it not? No fences, just lacrosse field bumping right up against the water. You getting flashbacks from your cheerleading days? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even have cheerleaders. Our school didn't even have doesn't doesn't even have cheerleaders. If you can't get pumped up yourself, then you're not an athlete. The cheerleaders are for the crowd. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. That's a real boat. So he's like a sleazy, slimy, gross guy. He's a hound. Yeah, with younger girls. Underage girls. Classy. So who's washing your Jeep this weekend, Mr. Lombardo? Ew. I'm going out to the Glades Saturday. Why don't you come over Sunday and you can wash all the mud off? Was this movie as gross in the 90s when it came out as it feels right now? <laughs> You're grossed out? Yeah. Teacher, student? Ugh. That's always been illegal. But I guess maybe that's like a, a boy's sort of fantasy or something. He's giving both of them a ride home. So it doesn't look like he's just trying to get in her pants or she's trying to get in his. I mean, she's laying it on thick. I'm not going to give her any outs here, but it's gross. You know, this teenage boy is like really trying to get in her pants. <laughs> he's a great guidance counselor. <laughs> hi, Mom. Sam, hi. Why don't you come on in and have a drink? Sorry, Sandra, I got to run. Denise Richards does not look like a teenager. I wonder how old she was when she made this. Almost 30. I was going to yeah. say, she looks like a 30 year old. This came out in 98. She was born in 71. I just feel like this, it'd be like me trying to play this role now. I might pull it off better, actually. <laughs> I look a lot more like a teenager than she does. Yeah, and you're about as annoying as one. <laughs> Definitely, right? Check out my Jeep. Nice and dirty for you. <clears throat> but you might want to wait till the other car leaves. You mean the Mercedes isn't yours, too? Sam, I'm leaving. So where's your hose, Mr. Lombardo? God. I love it when you ask me where my hose is. <laughs> I mean, at least pretend like you're going to head back inside. Okay. <laughs> Did you have any crushes on any of your teachers growing up? No. Yeah. Looks brand new. Aren't you forgetting something? Your coupon. We got to have it. But can't we just... Rules are rules, Mr. Lombardo. She, she looks 32. <laughs> they look older than the, the girl that left his house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about if Nicole goes on to the Mansons? 
You could give me a ride when you find the ticket. They're doing door-to-door -door car washes? Go. Also, sure? is this like her very first role, Denise Richards? I don't think so. I just don't think she's a very good actress. <laughs> I'm all wet. Her shirt torn before. I don't know. Is this a sex crime store situation? She's gonna, she's gonna cry sex crime. Hello, Hello. this is Blue Bay High School. Your son or daughter was absent today, Jesus Monday. Christ. Welcome on back to you, me and the boobies and booties. Sandra, what's up? Kelly skipped school today, Sam. Have you heard anything? Not a word. Never mind. Shooting guns? Oh! Listen, oh, Sam. She's a trap shooter, huh? I haven't found anyone who can handle my boat the way you can. Oh. Gross. <laughs> You're a hired hand. You're a good lay. That's as far as it goes. Enjoy it. While it lasts. She's a peach. You seem to find guns therapeutic. Maybe that was I... not, the, not proper gun etiquette. No. I miss Dad. Jesus. I miss him too. Um, sometimes I... He didn't have to kill himself, Kelly. <sighs> She's such a warm and fuzzy mom, isn't she? <sighs> I was raped. I Sam Lombardo. You don't believe her? Would you like to take a break for a minute? I just want to get it over with. Get her dressing all conservative. Buttoned up collar. Sweater. I believe her. Okay. His fingers. Take your time. They were in me. Both places, you know? Oh boy. He said no little girl can ever make me come. Too bad, we might have had some physical evidence. Maybe there's no physical evidence because nothing happened. You want my gut? There it is. I think she's acting. I think she set it up to be alone with him so that he could come out to her. I'm with the, I'm with the lady cop on this. <laughs> Interesting how this all started after their sex crimes class, huh? Mm. Denise Richards' character is pissed because she blames Mr. Lombardo on the reason why her dad killed himself. He was fucking her mom. And then her dad kills himself, so she associates him with the reason why her dad killed himself. Okay. And so in an effort to get some... Revenge? Revenge, she... Pretends to seduce him and then claims rape. All right, Detective Mrs. Movies. They clear you this mess, you get reinstated. The point is, you never get clear of something like this. That's the problem. That will follow you for your whole life. You'll never get a job as an educator again. Mr. Bowden, your 1030's here. Can you show him in, please? <laughs> She's a student. I was her guidance counselor. Beyond that, there was no relationship. She rubbed her boobs in your face, kinda, once. What, what did you do to your neck? This? I don't have to wear it all the time. <laughs> there was an insurance guy around here earlier. <laughs> so, Lombardo, I'm afraid I can't park your car today. You can't park me? I'm meeting Barbara for lunch. Not anymore, you're not. You're finished here, Lombardo. Take a hike. Maybe you didn't hear me, Lombardo. I find you around my daughter again. You'll be finished, period. He's banging the daughter of the owner of the yacht club, too? Apparently. Yeah. Mm. 
What's the deal with the motel? Maybe they have hourly rates. People aren't a big fan of him, apparently. Running him off the road, breaking into his house. That was the deckhand. Yeah. Oh, man! It's me! Sorry, man. Things have been getting a little weird around <laughs> A year ago, when our old man blew his brains out, they found her in a flea bag motel someplace, coked out of her gourd. Meanwhile, you, Sam, are voted Educator of the Year. Some crap. So he found her in that hotel? No, she's been looking into her past. I know. But what is the correlation between her being in a flea bag motel and him just looking? He's teacher of the year. She's a drug problem child character. You're not listening to me at all. It's fine. Did they arrest Mr. Lombardo? No. Will they? I don't know. That bothers you? Mr. Lombardo did something in that hotel and she saw it. This man rape you? Did Sam Lombardo rape you? Yeah, okay, he did. He, he pushed me to the floor and he did it to me. Okay, is that it? Leave me alone. Don't touch me! All right, take it easy, take it easy. He stopped. And that was it. He said that line, though. He said, no little bitch can ever make me come. They're in on it together. He would deny bail, but he got a real attorney, you know, instead of a public defender. Tony, you can't, I'm innocent. You are preaching to the choir. You're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> they did drugs together. They're friends. They came up with this plan. Just don't know why. So it's not like they're going to get any money out of it, so that's... All rise. I gotta stand up. <laughs> Please be seated. Now sit down. He's a good lawyer. Now, now you gotta sit down. <laughs> he raped me on the floor of his shitty house. And he raped the other one on the floor of her shitty house. Trailer. Same thing. According to your testimony, Mr. Lombardo raped you on uh, April 23rd of last year. Is that right? Yes. Are they paying her to co corroborate the rape situation? So one month after you say this man raped you, you go to him for help? I needed help. I'm sure you did. But Mr. Lombardo wasn't there this time, was he? It was summer. He was gone. And you spent six months in a state correctional facility. Did that make you mad, Susie? Mm. Did Samuel and Bartle rape you? Miss Toller. God damn it! This was not my idea. Objection, Your Honor. Miss Toller is clearly. Sam Lombardo didn't rape me. He didn't rape Kelly either. He didn't do anything. This is ridiculous! Sorry, Your Honor, I have to object. Your Honor, uh, please, may I be heard? Mr. Baxter, you are not trying this case. Go sit down. <laughs> Kelly's pissed at Mr. Lombardo, too. She's in love with him. And then she found out that Mr. Lombardo was doing her mom, and that was it. What? Oh. Kelly? What? Oh. You skanky bitch! I thought this was going to take longer to... To roll out. He's got a good lawyer. <laughs> we have got a knockdown, airtight motherfucker lawsuit against Sandra Van Ryan. I told you they were gonna go too far. They went overboard. They did. They'll settle. Believe me, they'll be begging to settle. They don't try to kill you first. They're well connected. The apprentice here committed perjury. 
It'll be all I can do to keep her fucking little ass out of jail. Yeah. You're gonna love this place, Tom. Thank you. That jalapeno pork platter will kill you. I mean, you can't eat sushi every day of the week. Both Beer with ice. Ugh. Crap, and tell me what your client really wants. He just drank the head off that beer. <laughs> My client wants your client to saddle up so we can ride her ass straight to the bank. The way I see it is that everybody's got to eat some shit sometime. You like yours hot? Yeah. <laughs> I love a good sleazy lawyer. <laughs> They're all wearing neck braces. Did he buy himself a new car? Fucking Ferrari. How much do you think they're settling for? A couple million dollars. Oh yeah. I'll be seeing you. Okay? Okay. Cool. See you at the club. He's a club member now. <laughs> must have made a great deal. It's like, if I get you off, I get half or something. I don't know. Not thinking he'd be able to get He gets a spot at the club. Yeah. And a fucking Ferrari. <laughs> you got a good commission off that case. You know how my mom's paying you off? She's breaking my trust. Ooh. Why don't you start fucking her again? You can spend it together. I hate you! I mean, you could just kill your mom, then you'd get your trust money. <laughs> yes, you are come back even if I wanted to. Good news, you could buy that hotel, though. <laughs> Uh-oh. You are not alone. So you got my mom's money. How much? You know how much. Your turn to pay. Oh! <laughs> you screwed up the bitch! <laughs> mm, it worked just like you said. Twist! <laughs> what's wrong is you're coming here. That's what's wrong. Are you fucking crazy? Clearly. So how much is eight and a half million divided by three? Eight and a half. After tonight, the three of us are not to be seen together again. After tonight? Yeah, well, we're here, aren't we? Gross. <laughs> I really didn't see this one coming. <laughs> How long have they been planning this? I'll come on back to you, me in the booty. Oh, that's a big mistake. You don't put them in your pocket. Yeah. Now there's evidence. What a sleaze ball. What? What a sleaze ball. <laughs> you mean the boobies? Oh my, oh my gosh. He's showing Denise a lot of attention, but he's not showing Kelly a lot of attention here. Denise is Kelly. I'm very confused. <laughs> Nev wasn't getting a lot of attention in that situation. Oh, okay. Is there some reason why you're here? Curiosity, I guess. About what? How to improve your breaststroke? No, actually, I was curious about how you see things working out for you and Sam and Susie. Excuse me? Because, see, the thing about it is that threesomes rarely work out. Someone always feels left out, right? 
Sam sell you on the idea right up front of whacking Susie? Hey. You're gonna kill Susie? Don't kill Susie. I don't think I ever told you how sorry I was about your friend. What was his name? Davey. Yeah. That's right, Davey. I was really sorry about the way that worked out. That is cop bullshit. What was that? You know, I don't have to listen to this. And you can't shove me around. I have friends now. Hey. This is Ray, Susie. Seems a little aggressive for a cop. That's trying to earn her trust to flop on to flip on her friends. He's gotta play rough with her. She's a rough gal. You don't really think Kelly and Sam are gonna share that money with you, do you? Who's getting felt up in that hotel room, Susie? It wasn't you. Hello, you've reached Sam Lombardo. Please wait for the beep and I'll leave a brief message. <clears throat> He's giving him a lot of bait to chew on. Yep. I miss you so much. I miss you too, Kelly. Oh, Chinese sounds so good right now. Dang. You are gonna fuck me over, aren't you? Oh, for Christ's sake. You are. Are you? Don't. <laughs> Cafe. <laughs> Well, he'd get murder on tape. That'd be pretty cool. This is just sexual tension. Is that what it's leading up to? Sure is. Yeah, I was gonna say, you might wanna zoom in, buddy. He's <laughs> <laughs> getting it all on tape. I might need your pillow. <laughs> You're gonna need more than just two pillows. Denise Richards had the I'm good with nudity. And Nev Campbell had a nudity clause. I <laughs> can show the side boob, but not the whole boob. Are you crazy, Ray? Did you hear her say, Sam, that was Lombardo on the phone. And, and, and you saw the two girls. And now you just created child porn. <laughs> They're 18. Here is you on the Van Ryan property without a proper warrant shooting a porn flip. I can't believe I'm hearing this. <laughs> I don't want any of this. You think this is just about money? About us looking stupid? Question him. You're gonna find a stone cold manipulative psychopath. Next Sorry. time this fucking piece of shit drags me down here, I'm gonna sue you. Free. Now, I'm am sorry. I free to go? I apologize. Yes. Thank you. What are you looking at? Huh? Oops. Took it too far. I guess I kind of lost it out there. <laughs> I thought we were going to a movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we just need to get wasted. <laughs> yeah. So who's going to kill who now? Are they going to kill Mr. Lombardo? Because now they're together? Or is this the moment that Susie gets knocked off? I want to live at the beach someday. Oh, this is the moment. They're going to kill Susie right here. Bye, Susie. My mom would kill me if she knew I took the rover. Yeah, she feels pretty guilty about it. I'm not even worried about the fact that they just killed somebody. No. Hmm. Just the rover stealing situation. Oh, the rover's gonna be really dirty now, too. Right, she's good at washing cars. This is true. She's doing it right now. Get off my property! I'm not on your property. You don't get out of here right now! What are you gonna do, call a cop? I am a cop. Shot this! Assault with a water gun. 
So you say she didn't come home last night? Well, she'd been talking about going to L.A., but her clothes are all still here. Walter, you get sick, it'll serve you right. Found some teeth in an old trailer down the road. Oh, he says it'll fit. <laughs> oh, gross. Ooh. Turns out you kill someone in the middle of the night. You can't see what kind of mess you're making. You gotta help me out on this part. And if the teeth aren't Susie's, you'll give this up? If I'm wrong about those teeth, you got my word. I come back and match her Walters. <laughs> <laughs> the alligator guy? <laughs> He's missing some teeth. <laughs> I want to see you. Guest house. Good, stay there. There's a lot of guns in that guest house. Kelly's file. Read it. You're gonna find an angry, sexually confused girl who threatened the lives of at least two people. Why didn't you tell us about this before the trial? Because then I had principles. That meant a lot to me. Abort. Abort mission. Abort mission. Saved by the hunk. Why is she planning on holding me for something? You invited her in. Duquette, what's happening? I'm tired, Ray. I'm going home. Where's Lombardo? He's gone. Let me tell you something, Ray. There's more to this story than you know. No. Uh -oh. I think Hunter may be on the right track about Kelly. Shit, Ray. This is Bear Ryan. It's Detective Duquette. Open the gate now. He's gonna get fired. His partner just called her, called him from the apartment or from the hotel room. Hello, Kelly. What are you doing here? Turned on me with the gun. Fired one shot. Took the hit in the shoulder. I had no choice. Is he working with Mr. Lombardo? He's got the hots for Lombardo too. Everybody's trying to bone Mr. Lombardo. How do you think this is gonna end with Kevin Bacon and Matt Dillon in the pool kissing? Something like that. <laughs> You are, as of now, terminated. Forfeiture of pension and benefits. Chief Goodsell. Howdy, partner. Jesus, man, I wasn't expecting you until tomorrow. <laughs> Kevin Bacon's peepee. <laughs> Could we rewind it? <laughs> we own the movie. You can rewind it all rewind you want. Rewind and pause. Kelly wasn't supposed to die, Ray. It wasn't part of the plan. Couldn't have worked out better. They're convinced that Kelly whacked Susie. Every cloud has a silver lining. Now there's no loose ends. Except for you. I spoke to the bank and they said it's going to take two working days to make the uh, transfer for something. Bullshit. Anyway, wait, wait, what's your hurry? Kick back for a day or two. We'll take out the boat. I just had it outfitted. A couple of harpoon guns in there. Here's the large bank accounts. He's gonna kill you. You gotta lighten up, partner. You're a rich man. In two days, he'll be a rich man, but not yet. Coors, the banquet beer. Kevin Bacon's kind of stuck. He can't really kill Lombardo if Lombardo's got the money still. If he kills him, he can't get the money, so... You see that winch? You take a couple of turns on it for me. She's laughing. Why don't you start cranking? This is supposed to be a vacation, man. You're getting me drowned. This is the Tony Soprano way to get rid of a partner. You see this line right here? You should follow it down. See if you can see what it's snagged on. 
Look a little lower. That's it. The rest of that line was dragging in the water, though he's probably still hanging on. His partner. You're dead. No, I'm not. Oh, Kelly. No, Susie. What the fuck's her name? Susie. Oh. All I know is the next morning, she was gone, and a boy was dead. Seminole kid named Davy. Caught Ray slapping her around, and he tried to stop. It. So Ray killed him. Susie saw it. So he busted her and sent her up. You know, just to prove that he could. To Ray. We won. Sam, it's over. <laughs> ha! Wow. Talk about paranoid. Take a look around us, Sam. You're gonna have to teach me how to drive this thing before I can get rid of you. Huh? Grab a hold of that winch. <clears throat> Just want to cruise for a while. <coughs> Susie. She did poison him, huh? Yes. All that's left is Susie. Van Ryan got old. He and his cronies had come down here, hunt and whore. And one trip he showed up with this girl, picked up somewhere, gotten her pregnant. Uh, -uh Susie's a Van Ryan. So you're not her grandmother. I raised her like I was. So Susie and Sandra Van Ryan were half sisters. And the other girl, Kelly, Susie's niece. <laughs> but they were kissing. Gross. <laughs> New pickup. Selling your boat? This was Susie's boat. I wouldn't have guessed Susie was a sailor. Old lady had her tested once. She said her IQ was way up there. 200 or some such shit. A girl could do just about anything she put her mind to. Like pulling out of a couple of teeth and leaving them. Being packaged in plastic wrap and... Not dying. <laughs> but again, all the money was in his accounts, yeah? So how's Susie going to access that? Maybe it wasn't in his accounts. Mm. It's true, I guess. Did she already bought somebody a pickup? It's true. The end. Never saw it coming. All the twists Boy, and turns. Boy, that it was full. It was nonstop twists and turns. Wild things. It was pretty wild. Yeah. All right. Got see to yeah, see that. Kevin Bates' penis. That's great. Okay, settle down. Okay. I need to I'll show your you mine later. <laughs> even, even more impressed. This is true. But yeah, that was just a, a revenge. Susie trying to get her trust fund from the family. Yeah, that that's was. pretty funny, huh? I don't think the plan was for Kelly to ever die. but No. Well, Susie would have killed her eventually, don't you think? I don't know. I don't think Kelly even knew. Susie was, I mean, obviously. Susie might have because she was smart and she was just playing them all. Right. Now she's got her yacht. She gave her family it was probably a little little cut of that. Just Back sailing off gator, into the sunset. Gator cafe, and mm -hmm. now she's cruising around the Bahamas. Interesting. Yeah. I didn't see it coming. Yeah, a lot of twists, huh? So many. You kind of guessed that uh, Kevin Bacon and I guess the, the easiest part of the plot line, and then uh, <laughs> they just kept on moving it. Yeah, kept on twisting it. They did. They just, like, shifted it. from. You thought Neff Campbell was dead. I, well, yeah. I mean, I, I thought when... He 
hit her and killed her, I was like, oh, she's not dead. But then I saw her wrapped up in the plastic wrap. I was like, oh, okay, maybe she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that was a joke, too. Yep. Yeah. Twist. All twists. They never show you anybody actually getting killed. It's all up to yeah. hearsay and your imagination. Interesting. Yeah. It's kind of Hitchcockian. It's a little bit more uh, erotic thriller thrown in. Yeah. It's like um, Hitchcock meets like a softcore porn. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I felt like I hadn't seen this since. A really long time because you didn't school. even remember Kevin Bacon was in it. So. I did too. I was kidding <laughs> no, when I were. said that. No, you weren't. <sighs> but uh, I hadn't seen this since high school, but. Watching it again, I can see a lot of the, like some of the musical motifs I felt were kind of Hitchcock, style, yeah, right. And then also the the Southern, you know, Miami Bayou kind of score too as well. But yeah, it was a fun rewatch. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I'd definitely watch this again, yeah. even though I know all the twists now. Well, we have uh, both versions too. You can watch the the theatrical cut and see what the difference is between probably just less bo- no penis, no penis, no penis, and less boob. You think that's the difference? Yeah. Less, maybe one less booby scene and one. Yeah, and definitely one less penis scene. They don't, they don't show penis scenes in theatrical movies. Okay. So. All right, I've That's never seen one, anyways. Maybe somebody in the comments can let us know. Yeah. You remember Kevin Bacon in the theater? Do you remember his peeping on the big screen? Well, what else is on your mind after Wild Things? What was your favorite of the twists? Yeah, what's your favorite twist in Wild Things? Yeah. And who's your favorite character? Yeah, there's some, good there are some really good characters. Bill Murray, he was definitely the favorite. He was yeah, for sure. Yeah. He didn't last for very long though. No, he got his little paycheck, and he mm-hmm. was, he's he, done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't Hands have, washed. Don't need yeah. any more of it. Do you think he even knew about? No, he was just happy to have the case. and yep. got lucky with the big payday. Yep. Yeah, he probably got. I'm thinking there was eight and a half million dollars. Yeah, something like that. Did you think he got one and a half or like ten percent? I don't know. Probably got 15%. It was probably a $10 million settlement, and he got one and a half. Could be. Right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Let us know what you think of Wild Things. Absolutely. Also, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for hanging out for Wild Things. This was a good one. I liked it. Yeah, good little twisty movie. Check out our Patreon link down below for early access to our videos. Find commentary access to polls to help us pick what we watch next. Link's down there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye. So you thought it was the end. Not the end. But guess what? Even though it says the end on the screen, there's more scenes. But I wanted to talk about it before we watch the stingers. Okay. Because I think it's kind of a fun way to watch this. So <laughs> let's watch the stingers now. Okay. Here we go. You know that weekend I got busted, I called you about a hundred times. I really believe that stuff about you being my friend. Was I naive? Who's the girl? I can't decide what came out better. That little straw up Kelly's nose or that... Oh, Kim. What do you think, Mr. Lombardo? How the whole blackmail started? It's blackmail. Mm. Trust me, the guy's dirty. He'll love it. Especially the part about killing me. Now get out of here. Go make yourself a new friend. What are you drinking? Nev Campbell's a mastermind, huh? <laughs> Maybe not a front tooth. Oh, I just... How it all went down. Boy, I hope I never make you mad. He's in on it. The check is the balance of the number to count minus the million we set aside for Ruby and Walter. Less my usual fee. Case closed. He set it all up so she'd get the money. Susie, be good. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Well, it was fun to see a little behind-the-scenes yeah. situation. Yeah. So the lawyer was in on it. Sure was.
Which I, you know, we should have guessed because yeah. we were wondering slower. how she got all the money. Yeah, that did. That was the one part that didn't make sense to me. But yeah. there you go. And you see what happened when they cut away all those times. Yeah. What happened? To it Susan. answers all the unanswered questions. Those were really questions. her teeth. She pulled them out. She mm-hmm. must have put them back in. No, I'm sure she just got some fake ones. Yeah, has some dental work. I mean, that's quick to do some dental work. Let me tell you. Yeah. Doesn't happen that fast. Yeah. But fun. Yeah. Now that you've seen all the, what really happened when they cut away, what do you think? She's a mastermind. Yeah, Susie. Mm-hmm. Pretty impressive, actually. Yeah. She had it all laid out pretty clearly. Well, that does it for the stinger of this video. Well, thanks for hanging out, you guys. So, until next time. Have a good one. Bye. Bye.